All right. Welcome, everybody, Warrior Nation. I have Brittany here with us today, and she is one of our new member benefit partners. And she is also the CEO and owner of Pronatal Fitness. I met her this past year at the Idea World Convention in Los Angeles. And uh, I was looking for partners that I felt like aligned with our mission and vision and core values, um, uh, uh, organizations or products that I thought would truly benefit our community because I want our I want your membership as a warrior instructor to have as much value as possible. And so when I met her, I I thought this would be a good one to add to our this would be a good one to add. And so I'm so excited Brittany's here. I'm going to have her talk to you about her um, product, her course, uh, and how it will benefit you. But before I do, I wanted, before I turn it over, I wanted to mention that I would say about every four to six months, one of you posts in our Facebook groups about having a pregnant participant come to your classes. And typically... And I love that you. I love that you come to the group for um, suggestions and recommendations. Typically, you're asking for recommendations. What do I do uh, in sun salutations if I have someone coming who's eight months pregnant? So the question does come up. This is very relevant. Okay, Brittany, take it away and tell them about your course. Well, yeah, actually, I was that pregnant person oh. that came into class. So a little bit about my background. I was not in the fitness. I didn't start in the fitness industry. I was working in the corporate world, but I was a group fitness junkie. Like when I tell you, I took like five, five, six classes a week of every format. Like I loved it. And, and it was really important to me. I love challenging my body in different ways. Um, but then it took me about, I had a lot of trouble getting pregnant. It took me almost two years. And so once I got pregnant, I was petrified. Mm -hmm. I was scared to death. I didn't want to do the wrong thing. At that time, there was very little information. And I remember going up to my instructors in class and asking them for guidance. And oftentimes I would get like these blank stares or nervous smiles. And my favorite comment was, um, just be careful. I was like, oh, thank you. That's very <laughs> really helpful. And for most of the time, like I was just ignored in class. You know, they just, and, and it got to the point for me where I just, I stopped doing group fitness because I was too nervous. Okay. And, and, and so I was like, well, well, this situation isn't good for anyone. It's, it wasn't good for me because there's so many benefits to, to both you and the growing baby from exercising during pregnancy. So, so many benefits to member, and it's not good for the instructor. I mean, I know what it feels like as an instructor, because we work with you all, all the time when it's like, you don't feel good when people come up to you asking you for guidance and you have to say like, I don't know. Like that doesn't feel good. And when you're not confident, they're not confident. And then for studio owners, you know, they work, you work so hard to get these members in and retain these members and then only to lose them during pregnancy. Like that's not a good feeling. So, um, long, you know, years later, this kind of sparked an interest, eventually formed the company that is now Pronatal Fitness. And um, our primary focus is on educating fitness professionals. And our core offering is this, full length certification course for personal trainers that teaches them exactly how to train a pregnant client. Like this is what you do. And these are all the exercises and the stages. And, you know, for me coming from group fitness, I was like, well, this is great for personal trainers, right? They love it because they can come up with a program and, you know, they get all the steps, but I was like, that's not relevant when you're teaching a HIIT class or a cardio class or a, a, a yoga class. And you're like, I'm teaching a format and I got to accommodate the pregnant lady that just walked in, right? It's a very different challenge than taking a, a, a big course on how to design a prenatal training program. That's not what group fitness instructors have to do. And so I, I, I was like, we have to create a course that is specifically designed for group fitness instructors. That's not gonna give them the 35 hour details on how to design a prenatal training program, but it's gonna tell you exactly what you need to do when that pregnant person or the postnatal person comes into your class. And so all of the strategies are designed because 
of my experience in group fitness to be realistically applied in a group fitness setting. I know how many things you have going on as an instructor. I know all the different things you have to manage. So, so it's very much applicable to that. And all of the strategies you learn in the course or many of them, they're applicable for every single person in your class. They just happen to be really beneficial for the pregnant and postpartum members. So a lot of instructors who take our education will say, this made me a better instructor. And um, and we give you like for the modifications and stuff like that, we try to make things really, really simple and really easy. So what the course is, is it's a self-paced online course. So once you enroll, you have lifetime access. You can take it whenever you want and you go through it at your own pace. And it's, um, it's seven CEU hours. I actually think it doesn't take that long to go through. So it's like five to seven hours. So it's a good number of CEUs. So it's seven CEUs, uh, four, four learning modules. For each learning module, uh, we try to accommodate different learning preferences. So for each module, you have the PDF, the downloadable text that you can read, or you have a, a, a webinar where I'm kind of presenting the material. You can do one or both, you know, depending on how you like to learn. And then there's a self-check just to make sure you comprehended enough to move on. And then there's a little final exam at the end to get your certificate. So that's kind of how the course works. But it also comes with these additional resource guides, like a fan favorite is our pre and postnatal core exercise guide. So it gives you these video demos of all these different beneficial core exercises you can do besides bird dog. <laughs> for the pregnant person, because everyone's like, isn't bird dog the only pregnancy core exercise? So it's tons of them beyond that. There's also a machine and equipment considerations guide. So we try to give you lots of different resources included in the course. And so, and we've tried to make it very accessible from a price point and beyond, because we want to make sure it's accessible for all group fitness instructors. And we are excited to offer warrior instructors an additional discount beyond that. So that is a little bit about the course. It's it's we call it a mini course. It's pre and postnatal education for group fitness instructors. And then if you like what you learn and you are a personal trainer as well, or maybe you become pregnant yourself and you want to learn a little bit more, you can always go on to take our full certification course. That is so awesome. So I think I'll just kind of zoom way out. Just in case some of our instructors are watching this that maybe don't have a primary group fitness certification. So, and maybe perhaps don't even know what a CEU is. So basically we have in our industry, these umbrella overarching uh, primary group fitness certifications. Uh, The most common ones are through ACE, AFA, and NASM. And most of our instructor community, of course, has their primary certification. These are wonderful. We highly recommend that all of our instructors uh, put that on their bucket list if they don't already have a primary certification that they obtain one, just because it increases your confidence about everything. And in the primary certification, you kind of learn a little bit about everything, a little bit about, but more than you would in your, your one day training with one of the warrior formats. You learn a little bit more about anatomy and kinesiology and special populations, which this would fit under that category. Um, The legality is all kinds of things. So in order to maintain your primary certification, almost like a physical therapist or a doctor has to, or a school teacher, you have to, or a tattoo artist, like there's lots of different fields where you have to stay relevant in that industry to yeah. maintain your credentials. And group fitness is one of those. So uh, I like that about our industry. I like that we're held to that standard. That's actually one of the reasons I recommend having a primary group fitness certification, if you don't already have one, because it does kind of force you to stay relevant. Our industry does evolve and change things that once were maybe contraindicated are now allowed and vice versa. Some things that um, were once allowed, maybe we find out today are not so great for the spine or something like that. So it's a great way to to kind of force to have accountability with yourself. In fact, I'm due. (laughs) I've got to submit. I have my pronatal CECs to submit. So um, 
that's what a primary certification is. And so once you have one, you have to get credits. And so this is an opportunity for you as a warrior instructor to spend your dollars wisely on something that will level you up as an instructor, period, no matter what you teach, but specifically will help you with your participants that come into your warrior combat, warrior strength, warrior rhythm classes so that you have a higher level of confidence. So I feel great about this partnership. I feel like uh, some of you will just jump right on it. And even if you don't have a primary group fitness certification, this still might be an area of study uh, yeah. of that you want to add to your toolbox uh, as an. As yeah, an I, I, I was going to say that because it, there are no prerequisites to take this course. And we specifically, like we wrote it so that it could be applicable for anyone with, with even if they didn't have any sort of fitness background. Right. Right. So, so it's just like, Hey, if you need CEUs, that's an extra benefit, but there's absolutely no prerequisites to take the course and anyone exactly. can benefit from the information. Exactly. So we have all the information kind of housed underneath this video in our membership course. And uh, we want to invite you guys to check it out. Yes. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Bye, Brittany. Bye.